Welcome to this video which will show you how to quickly and easily set up and solve a simulation model using Analytics Solver Platform. These same steps could be used in a subset product such as Risk Solver Platform, Analytics Solver Pro, or Risk Solver Pro. Imagine you are the CEO of a manufacturing company and you would like to forecast your profit for the coming year. The number of products sold and the profit per product will be affected by next year's economy. If the economy is hot, you are estimated to sell 100,000 products at a profit of $11 each. If the economy is just okay, you are estimated to sell 75,000 products at a profit point of $10 each. And if the economy is slow, you are estimated to sell only 50,000 products at a profit point of $9 each. You believe there is an equal chance of each of these three scenarios occurring. The cost to produce each product is also uncertain due to fluctuations in the price of raw materials and manpower. Finally, our fixed costs, which are comprised of salaries, maintenance, etc., are estimated to total $120,000, and we will incur these costs regardless of the market. Now, I've set up this model so that we can perform a what-if analysis. For example, if I set cell L6 equal to 1, then price and volume for the slow economy will be used in our sales forecast. If I set cell L6 to 2, then price and volume for our OK economy will be used in our sales forecast. And likewise, if I set cell L6 to 3, then price and volume for the hot economy will be used in our sales forecast. The most likely unit cost of $6.50 will be used since this is our best estimate. The formula in cell D11 calculates our net profit, which is just the selling price minus our costs. Although this is a helpful exercise, we have only explored just three scenarios. We don't really know how good or how bad net profit can be. With Analytics Solver Platform, we will quickly explore 1,000 scenarios that accurately represent the much larger set of all possible outcomes, and we'll know a lot more. First, we will replace the static variable in cell L6 with an uncertain variable by inserting a distribution into this cell. Recall that each economy type had an equal chance of occurring. As a result, we will use the int uniform distribution to model this variable. Select cell L6 and click Distributions. Discrete, because our variable can take on countable values, and uniform. If we weren't sure which distribution to use, we could have used the distribution wizard to help us make an intelligent decision. The uncertain variable dialog opens with a preset lower and upper bound of 0 and 10, which we will change to 1 and 3. The uncertain variable dialog updates to include our parameter values, and we see that there is a 33% chance of each scenario type, 1, 2, or 3, occurring. Here you could customize your distribution even more, but for now, let's just click Save and move on. If we inspect cell L6, we see the formula, and if we inspect the task pane, we see that our uncertain variable has been added automatically. We could have entered this formula directly rather than using the distributions menu. Now let's move on to our unit cost. Since we have a minimum, maximum, and most likely value, the PSI triangular distribution should work well. Click cell E9, then click distribution, common, triangular. The uncertain variable dialog opens. We will change the parameters to reference cells J12, K12, and cell L12. Then click Save. If we check out the task pane, we see that this cell has also been added as an uncertain variable. And if we inspect the actual cell, we can see the PSI triangular distribution function. To edit an uncertain variable, we could either edit the formula directly or double click the cell to open the uncertain variable dialog. Finally, we need to capture the average net profit generated across all economic scenarios. To do this, we'll use the PSI mean function. First click cell D11, because this is the cell that we want the average of. Then click Results, Statistic, Mean, and select a blank cell, say D12. And I'm going to label this cell Average Profit. Again, we could have entered this formula directly into the cell rather than using the menu. If we take a look at the task pane, 
we see that cell D11 was added as an uncertain function. This means that when a simulation is run, Solver will keep track of the value of this function for each of the 1,000 trials, and we will be able to obtain information on the range of values. Now we are ready to run a simulation. First we'll click the Platform tab, and here we see that we're going to run one simulation with 1,000 trials. Then we'll click Simulate, Run Once. In a fraction of a second, 1,000 trials are completed, and the Uncertain Function dialog appears for cell D11, which is our net profit. If we change the lower cutoff to zero, we see that 14% of the time we will have a net loss, and 86% of the time we will have a net profit. Here we see our average profit across all scenarios is almost $159,000, and this is the same value that we see in cell D12. Our minimum value was negative 90,000, and our maximum value was 500,000. If we scroll down, we see that Solver offers several more statistical values. In addition, Analytic Solver Platform also allows you to view the percentiles and Six Sigma measures, along with the ability to change the chart type and access options, and also to add a marker to delineate a value on the frequency charts, such as the expected mean. Our frequency chart shows the distribution of values from our 1,000 trials. We can also view the cumulative frequency chart, the reverse cumulative frequency chart, the sensitivity chart, which shows that cell E9, the unit cost, has a much bigger impact on our net profit than our sales. So rather than focusing on the number of units we may sell, we might want to focus more on reducing our costs to produce. Our scatter plot shows us that as our unit cost increases, our net profit value decreases. Now let's close this dialog and perform some what-if scenarios with our model. Let's raise our profit points in all economies by one dollar. And I'll click the green arrow on the output tab to run a simulation. Now we see that our average profit across all trials is $235,000, and our minimum value is negative $42,000, and our maximum value is $617,000. If I click the Simulate icon, I will turn on Interactive Simulation. Now each time I make a change to the spreadsheet, a new simulation will be run. For example, let me move this down here a bit. Let me change the hot economy profit point to twelve dollars and fifty cents. Instantly a new simulation was run. If I change the profit point for the OK market and the slow market, I now see that I have zero percent chance of a net loss. As you can see with Analytic Solver Platform, you can change an ordinary Excel what if model into a powerful and dynamic simulation model with just a few easy changes to the spreadsheet. Now we have a much better understanding of the range of potential outcomes that we can face in any type of economic scenario. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to contact us at www.solver.com.